After living next to an eyesore for years, a Wallingford man is saying enough is enough. And now he's calling on News 8 for help. Good evening, everybody. I'm Keith Coons. I'm Ann Nyberg. Banned from their own backyard. That's how a Wallingford family has been feeling for years. They say the town has been avoiding an eyesore and they want something done about it. That abandoned home is located on Bristol Street in Wallingford. News 8's Aaron Logan has got their back and got the building officials to talk about their plan. She joins us now live with the very latest. Aaron. Keith and Ann, we took a look at some documents showing the town is addressing the problem, but this family says that's only one part. They say the town isn't returning any of their calls, so we came here to check things out. This used to be someone's home when the Parmalees first moved to this Wallingford neighborhood. For the last four years, they haven't been able to stomach the sight of it. Today is my daughter's ninth birthday. Okay, She does not have a memory of being able to come out into the yard and seeing anything but that, you know, and it disturbs me. Parmalee says he and his wife don't feel like the town is taking this seriously. You have called the building department for how many years? We started with the building department about four years ago. After 12 years of living here, it wasn't until late this summer that the Parmalees noticed this red garage. That's because it was covered by brush. You can see it in this picture. We went to town hall and looked at documents showing the owner was issued a citation in April. She wants to meet the requirements so no fine will be levied on her home. The owner did what she was told, but that was simply for cleaning up the outside. Parmalee says neighbors want these old structures with squirrels and raccoons running in and out gone. He says one neighbor offered to buy the property from her. Her response to that is that this was her family property. We went to talk to the owner, but she didn't answer the door. Parmalee says the town needs to take another look at this. I really thought that they would have a lot more respect for the town that they live in. Now, the housing code enforcement officer did call me back this afternoon. He tells me that he agrees there is a problem here, but he's not 100% certain that those buildings will have to be taken down. He does promise that he'll go back and take another look. Live in Wallingford, Aaron Logan, News 8.